The MPC100 works two different ways. You have manual buttons here with an LCD screen, but you can also use it with your smartphone, in this case an iPhone. So first of all, we're going to power on the MPC100 by pushing the power button for over two seconds. Now you'll see the power is on. And then we're going to activate the Bluetooth functionality to pair it up with the phone. So you simply hold the wavelength button for over two seconds. There you go, you have the Bluetooth functionality activated. Proceeding to the test, we need to make sure that the wavelength corresponds to the one that we really, that we're using on our light source. So here we're using 1310. So we're simply going to click multiple time on the wavelength button here until we get to the value that we're looking for. So 1310. As you can see, the value is also changing on the application, but you can do it directly on the application by clicking on the wavelength and just scanning through the value that you're looking for. So here, 1310, there you go. With the power checker, we are actually measuring the absolute power of the light source. So we're going to stay on this tab over here, so power measurement, PM. Uh, in order to get a pass or fail status, we will need to go and set a threshold in our application. In this case, it's set to minus four, but we can change it to minus five if we want to. And this is going to be our new threshold. So now we're ready to test. We're going to answer our fiber connector and see the value that we have. So here we have a pass because the power measurement is below our threshold. We also have the measurement directly on the LCD of the power checker. To save the results, you can actually do it directly on the power checker by pressing the save button once. There you go, and now the result is saved. Or you can also do it directly on the application by pressing the save button. Do you want to save the data? Yes. Now you have data saved. To view the results that you've saved, you can go on the view tab where you have all of the tests that you've performed with your device. So you have a better view of those tests, you can simply click on them and then you have the details. You can share those results by pressing the share button and then it will prompt you to choose the application from which you would like to share the results. It can be text message, email, or you can simply just save it to your device. So we can go back to the result view. There you go, in this live mode. You can also view the results directly on the power checker by holding the save button over two seconds. So if I hold it, there you go. So you're now in save view. You'll see that the wavelength will alternate with um, the time and date um, with one second interval. To scan through the previous results, you will need to press the save button to go back and see the previous results. And if you want to move forward, simply press the wavelength button. And to go back in test mode, you simply hold the save button over two seconds. You're back in test mode. You can also view the live test by pressing the graph. There you go. You press start and you see the results as they come in. Stop and go back. To measure insertion loss, you can go into the insertion loss tab. You will need to set your reference. So click on the number here. So you have your reference. Now it's ready for you to plug in the fiber under test. Make sure you align the keys to your bulkhead. 